The Albanians Albanian, Shkiptarit, pronounced Sipta, t, are an ethnic group native to the Balkan Peninsula sharing a common Albanian ancestry, culture, history and language. They primarily live in Albania and Kosovo with communities in Croatia, Greece, Italy, Montenegro, Macedonia and Turkey. They constitute a diaspora in Argentina, Australia, Austria, Bulgaria, Canada, Germany, Egypt, Romania, Serbia, Switzerland, the United Kingdom and the United States. The Albanian diaspora was formed during the course of the late Middle Ages and early modern period. Between the 11th and 18th centuries, sizable numbers of Albanians emigrated to escape various socio-political difficulties. One population which became the Arvanites settled down in southern Greece between the 13th and 16th centuries, assimilating into and now self-identifying as Greeks. Another population, who became the Arboreche, settled in southern Italy and formed the oldest continuous Albanian diaspora, producing many prominent figures. Smaller populations dating to migrations during the 18th century include the Arbanasi, located on Croatia's Dalmatian coast, and scattered communities across southern Ukraine. Albanians are primarily composed of two sub ethnic groups known as the Gegs and Tosks. In the 13th century, the Gegs converted to Roman Catholicism from Eastern Orthodoxy as a means to resist the Slavic Serbs. In the 15th century, Skanderbeg led the medieval Albanian resistance to the Ottoman conquest. During the 17th and 18th centuries, Albanians in large numbers converted to Islam, in part due to the privileged legal and social position of Muslims in the empire and coercion by Ottoman authorities in times of war. Albanians attained important political and military positions within the empire and culturally contributed to the wider Muslim world. Following the Albanian National Awakening, during the Balkan Wars, in 1912, Albanians were partitioned between the newly formed independent Albania and Serbia, Greece and Montenegro. From 1945 to 1992, Albania was ruled by a communist government. Albanians in neighboring Yugoslavia underwent periods of discrimination that concluded with the breakup of that state in the early 1990s and eventually the independence of Kosovo in 2008. Ethnonym The Albanians Albanian, and their country Albania Albanian, have been identified by many ethnonyms. The most common native ethnonym is Shkiptar, plural, Shkipter, the name Albanians, Byzantine Greek, Albanoi, Arbanitai, Arbanites, Latin, Albanenses, Arbanenses was used in medieval documents, that gradually entered European languages from which other similar derivative names emerged. From these ethnonyms, names for Albanians were also derived in other languages, that were or still are in use. In English, Albanians, Italian, Albanesi, German, Albaner, Greek, Arvanites, Alvanitis, Albanites plural. Alvanites, Albanites, Alvanos, Albanos plural, Alvanoi, Albanoi Turkish, Arna, Arnavit, South Slavic languages, Arbanasi, Arbanasi, Albanji, Albanji Aromanian, Arbines, and so on. The term, Albanoi. Albanoi is first encountered twice in the works of Byzantine historian Michael Ataliates, and the term, Arvanitai. Arbanitai is used once by the same author. He referred to the Albanoi as having taken part in a revolt against the Byzantine Empire in 1043, and to the Arbanitai as subjects of the Duke of Dyrrhachium modern Duras. These references have been disputed as to whether they refer to the people of Albania. Historian Yves Ranusi believes that these Albanoi were Normans from Sicily. She also notes that the same term as Albani in medieval Latin meant foreigners. The reference to Arvanitai from Ateliates regarding the participation of Albanians in a rebellion around 1078 is undisputed. In later Byzantine usage, the terms Arbanitai and Albanoi with a range of variants were used interchangeably, while sometimes the same groups were also called by the classicizing name Illyrians. The first reference to the Albanian language dates to the latter 13th century, around 1285. The ethnonym Albanian has been hypothesized to be connected to and stem from the Albanoi, an Illyrian tribe mentioned by Ptolemy with their center at the city of Albanopolis. 
Linguists believe that the alb part in the root word originates from an Indo-European term for a type of mountainous topography, from which other words such as alps are derived. Through the root word alban and its rhoticized equivalents arban, albar, and arbar, the term in Albanian became rendered as arbenishe, arbareshe for the people and arbenia, arbaria for the country. The Albanian language was referred to as arbnisht and arborisht. While the exonym Albania for the general region inhabited by the Albanians does have connotations to classical antiquity, the Albanian language employs a different ethnonym, with modern Albanians referring to themselves as Shkip e ter and to their country as Shkipiria. Two etymologies have been proposed for this ethnonym, one, derived from the etymology from the Albanian word for eagle Shkipe, var, Shkipanye. In Albanian folk etymology, this word denotes a bird totem, dating from the times of Skanderbeg as displayed on the Albanian flag. The other is within scholarship that connects it to the verb to speak from the Latin excipere". In this instance the Albanian endonym like Slav and others would originally have been a term connoting those who speak intelligibly, the same language. The new ethnonyms Shkip e ter and Shkipiria emerged and replaced the older ethnonyms Arbenishe, Arbareshe and Arbenia, Arbaria between the late 17th and early 18th centuries. That era brought about religious and other socio-political changes. As such a new and generalized response by Albanians based on ethnic and linguistic consciousness to this new and different Ottoman world emerging around them was a change in ethnonym. Topic. Distribution. Topic. Balkans Approximately 7 million Albanians are to be found within the Balkan Peninsula with about half this number residing in Albania and the other divided between Kosovo, Montenegro, Serbia, the Republic of Macedonia, Greece and to a much smaller extent Bosnia, Bulgaria, Croatia, Romania and Slovenia. An estimated 2.2 million Albanians live in the territory of former Yugoslavia, the greater part, which is close to 2 million, in Kosovo. Rights to use the Albanian language in education and government were given and guaranteed by the 1974 Constitution of SFRY and were widely utilized in Macedonia and in Montenegro before the dissolution of Yugoslavia. The presence of Albanians in Kosovo as well as in the adjacent regions of Toplica and Morava is recorded since the Middle Ages. As the Serbs expelled many Albanians from the wider Toplica and Morava regions in southern Serbia, which the 1878 Congress of Berlin had given to the Principality of Serbia, many of them settled in Kosovo. In Kosovo, they and their descendants are known as Muhajer meaning the exiled, from the Arabic Muhajir. During the First Balkan War, Serbia and Montenegro, after expelling the Ottoman forces in present-day Albania and Kosovo, committed numerous war crimes against the Albanians, which were reported by the European, American and Serbian opposition press. Further during the Kosovo War, Serbian paramilitary forces committed war crimes in Kosovo, although the Serbian government claims that the army was only going after suspected Albanian terrorists. This triggered a 78-day NATO campaign in 1999. Nowadays, Albanians in Kosovo constitute the majority with 1,616,869 million. Culturally, Albanians in Kosovo are very closely related to Albanians in Albania. Traditions and customs differ even from town to town in Kosovo itself. The spoken dialect is Gheg, typical of northern Albanians. The language of state institutions, education, books, media and newspapers is the standard dialect of Albanian, which is closer to the Tosk dialect. The most widespread religion among Albanians in Kosovo is Islam, mostly Sunni, and Roman Catholicism. There are small Albanian populations dating to migrations from the 18th century. One group known as the Arbanas are located on Croatia's Dalmatian coast and fled Ottoman repression. The second known as the Albanji are located in scattered communities across southern Ukraine and descend from Albanian warriors who fought against the Ottoman Empire during the Russo-Turkish Wars and allowed to settle in the Russian Empire. The actual number of the Albanian population in Romania is unofficially estimated at around 10,000 persons. Most members of the community live in Bucharest, too, while the rest mainly live in larger urban centers such as Timisoara, Iasi, Constanța and Cluj-Napoca. Most families in Romania are Orthodox and trace their origins to the area around Kors. Italy 
In Italy, the Albanian community constitute one of the largest ethnolinguistic minority in the country and is protected by law. The Albanian immigration to Italy can be broadly categorized into several immigration cycles that occurred throughout history which can be attributed to factors such as political or religious reasons that emerged in the Balkan Peninsula. Albanian immigration to Italy dates back to the medieval period when numerous Albanian and other Balkan soldiers, known as the Stratioti, were recruited as prominent mercenaries by the Neapolitans, Sicilians and Venetians including of the Franks, Aragoneses, Serbs and Byzantines. The Stratiotis, both Christian and Muslims from the Balkans, served initially for the Republic of Venice in their campaigns among others against the Ottoman Empire. The Arboreshes began to settle the Italian peninsula following the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople and the Balkans between the 14th and 16th centuries. Subsequently to their arrival, the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily guaranteed refuge and protection within the empire. Today, Italy has a historical Albanian minority, known as Arboreshes, of approximately 260,000 scattered across Sicily, Calabria and southern Italy. There are small numbers outside Italy such as in North and South America, especially in the Argentina, Brazil, Canada, Chile, United States Uruguay. The majority of Albanians in Italy arrived in 1991 and have since surpassed the older populations of Arboreshe. After the breakdown of the communist regime in Albania in 1990, Italy had been the main immigration target for Albanians leaving their country because of its geographic proximity. Topic: <inaudible> Croatia. In Croatia, the Albanian language is one of the officially recognized minority languages of the country and is primarily spoken by the Albanians and Arbanasis. As defined in the 2011 census, the number of Albanians in the country was estimated to be 17,513. They are mostly concentrated in the coastal cities of Croatia and the capital city of Zagreb. The history of Albanian presence in Croatia can be traced back to the Middle Ages. In this period, there was a significant Albanian community in Ragusa with numerous families of Albanian origin inclusively the Sorgo family who came from the Cape of Rodon in central Albania, across Kotor in eastern Montenegro, to Dalmatia. By the 13th century, Albanian merchants were trading directly with the peoples of the Republic of Ragusa which increased familiarity between Albanians and Ragusans. The capture of Albania by the Ottoman Empire and the death of Skanderbeg caused many Christian Albanians to flee to Dalmatia and other countries, including Italy and Greece. In the 18th century, the suppression of Catholicism increased rapidly and dramatically, which led the Arbanasis to flee to Dalmatia. They found initially refuge in Kotor and moved further north to Zadar, where they established the village Borgo Arizo, which is at the present day a neighborhood of Zadar. Greece An estimated 275,000 to 600,000 includes dual citizens, temporary migrants, and undocumented Albanians live in Greece, forming the largest immigrant community in the country. They are economic migrants whose migration began in 1991, following the collapse of the Socialist People's Republic of Albania. The Arvanites and Albanian speakers of Western Thrace are a group descended from Tosks who migrated to southern and central Greece between the 13th and 16th centuries. They are Greek Orthodox Christians, and though they traditionally speak a dialect of Tosk Albanian known as Arvanadika, they have fully assimilated into the Greek nation and do not identify as Albanians. Arvanadika is in a state of attrition due to language shift towards Greek and large-scale internal migration to the cities and subsequent intermingling of the population during the 20th century. The Cham Albanians were a group that formerly inhabited a region of Epirus known as Shimeria, nowadays Thesprosia in northwestern Greece. Many Cham Albanians converted to Islam during the Ottoman era. Muslim Chams were expelled from Greece during World War II, by an anti-communist resistance group, as a result of their participation in a communist resistance group and the collaboration with the Axis occupation, while Orthodox Chams have largely assimilated into the Greek nation. Diaspora Europe By the 20th and 21st centuries, there have been increasingly large numbers of Albanian people settling in other parts of Western and Northern Europe. 
Following the end of communism and decades of isolationism, several thousands of Albanians, predominantly young people, fled their country due to the disastrous social, economic and political circumstances in Albania. Due to the close proximity, the largest Albanian immigration wave of the 20th century started to occur from Albania largely within southern Europe to Greece and Italy. The estimated number of Albanian immigrants abroad in the 1990s was approximately 500,000, of whom 90% was settling in Greece. There are approximately 200.000 Albanians in Switzerland, with the main concentration in the cantons of Zurich, Basel, Lucerne, Bern, and St. Gallen. The neighboring Germany is home to around 250.000 to 300.000 Albanians while in Austria there are around 40.000 and 80.000 Albanians concentrated in the states of Vienna, Styria, Salzburg, Lower and Upper Austria. A large proportion of these people are from Kosovo and Macedonia with a lesser extent from Albania and other territories however, the number of Albanians in all three countries has sharply increased following the conflicts in the Balkans and the human tragedy in Kosovo. The largest number of Albanians in Scandinavia is to be found in Sweden where 100,000 people of Albanian descent are thought to live. However, according to official data, only around 50,000 people have declared Albanian as their first language. A smaller number of Albanians have also settled in Norway and Denmark with more than 11,000 and 8,000 Albanians respesitveli. In the United Kingdom, the number of Albanian nationals living in the UK increased from around 2000 in 2004 to around 14,600 in 2015. As of other estimations, the population of Albanians in the UK lies between 70,000 and 100,000. Albanian migrants live in all parts of the UK especially in England. Asia and Egypt The Albanian diaspora in Turkey was formed during the Ottoman era through economic migration and early years of the Turkish Republic through migration due to socio-political discrimination and violence experienced by Albanians in Balkan countries. According to a 2008 report prepared for the National Security Council of Turkey by academics of three Turkish universities in eastern Anatolia, there were approximately 1,300,000 people of Albanian descent living in Turkey. According to that study, more than 500,000 Albanian descendants still recognize their ancestry and or their language, culture and traditions. There are also other estimates regarding the Albanian population in Turkey that range from being 3 to 4 million people up to a total of 5 million in number, although most of these are Turkish citizens of either full or partial Albanian ancestry being no longer fluent in Albanian cf. German Americans. This was due to various degrees of either linguistic and or cultural assimilation occurring amongst the Albanian diaspora in Turkey. Nonetheless, a sizable proportion of the Albanian community in Turkey, such as that of Istanbul, has maintained its distinct Albanian identity. Albanians are active in the civic life of Turkey. In Egypt, there are 18,000 Albanians, mostly Tosk speakers. Many are descendants of the Janissaries of Muhammad Ali Pasha, an Albanian who became Wali, and self declared Khedive of Egypt and Sudan. In addition to the dynasty that he established, a large part of the former Egyptian and Sudanese aristocracy was of Albanian origin. Albanian Sunnis, Bektashis and Orthodox Christians were all represented in this diaspora, whose members at some point included major Renaissance figures Rilindasset, including Themi Mitko, Spiro Dine, Andan Zako Kajapi, Milo Duchi, Fan Noli and others who lived in Egypt for a time. With the ascension of Gamal Abdel Nasser in Egypt and rise of Arab nationalism, the last remnants of Albanian community there were forced to leave. Albanians have been present in Arab countries such as Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Jordan, and for about five centuries as a legacy of Ottoman Turkish rule. Americas <inaudible> 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 The first immigration of Albanians to Canada began already in the 19th and 20th centuries though the largest wave of migration from the Balkan Peninsula to Canada was in 1999, when 7,000 people mostly Albanians from Kosovo, arrived in that country. They primarily settled in Canada's industrial cities, mostly Toronto, Montreal and Edmonton, which was besides the United States a major centre of Albanian migration to North America. Albanian Canadians have their roots in Albania, although the country of their birth could be Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, Italy or Greece. 
In 2016, Canada was home to approximately 36,185 Albanians from Albania and 2,870 Albanians from Kosovo, predominantly distributed in Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, and Vancouver. The largest population of Albanians in the Americas is predominantly to be found in the United States. According to the 2013 American Community Survey, there are 194,028 Albanian Americans, American citizens of full or partial Albanian descent. The descendants of the Arboreshes from Italy were the first ethnic Albanians to arrive in the United States. The immigration of the Arboreshes to the country occurred at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. Having a strong sense of identity, the Arboreshe Americans are often distinguishable from other Albanian Americans with regard to their Italianized names and a common religion. They are often indistinguishable from Italian Americans because of being assimilated into the Italian American community. Oceania Albanian immigration to Australia took place in the late 19th century and much of the 20th century. Following the introduction of migration quotas by the United States, people who had planned to immigrate to the States were forced to choose Australia instead. The majority of them had Muslim and Orthodox backgrounds and tended to live in Victoria and Queensland but also in Western and Northern Australia. Italy's annexation of Albania and its alliance with Nazi Germany against the Allies marked a difficult time for Albanian and Italian Australians as they were thought by Australian authorities to pose a fascist threat. However, the number of Albanian immigrants slowed consequently during that time but also due to immigration restrictions placed by the communist regime in Albania. The most recent Albanian immigrants came mostly from Kosovo and the former Yugoslavian countries inclusively Macedonia and Serbia and Montenegro. The immigrants were mostly Muslims but also Orthodox and Catholics among them the relatives of the renowned Albanian nun and missionary Mother Teresa. In 2016, approximately 4,041 persons resident in Australia identified themselves as having been born in Albania, while 15,901 persons identified themselves as having Albanian ancestry, either alone or in combination with another ancestry. There are many Albanian Australians that were born in Italy, Macedonia as well as Kosovo, due to this they are recorded under those statistics. History Ethnogenesis Middle Ages An old Bulgarian text compiled around the beginning of the 11th century contains a possible reference to Albanians. It is preserved in a Serbian manuscript dated 1628 and was first published in 1934 by Radoslav Grujic. It is a fragment of a once longer text that endeavors to explain the origins of peoples and languages in a question and answer form similar to a catechism. It divides the world into 72 languages and three religious categories, Orthodox Christians, half-believers i.e. non-Orthodox Christians and non-believers. Gruyic dated it to the early 11th century and if this and the identification of the Arbanasi as Albanians are correct it would be the earliest written document referring to the Albanians as a people or language group. It can be seen that there are various languages on earth. Of them, there are five Orthodox languages, Bulgarian, Greek, Syrian, Iberian Georgian, and Russian. Three of these have Orthodox alphabets, Greek, Bulgarian and Iberian. There are twelve languages of half-believers, Alemanians, Franks, Magyars, Hungarians, Indians, Jacobites, Armenians, Saxons, Lechs, Poles, Arbanasi, Albanians, Croatians, Hezi, Germans. The first undisputed mention of Albanians in the historical record is attested in Byzantine source for the first time in 1079–1080, in a work titled History by Byzantine historian Michael Ataliates, who referred to the Albanoi as having taken part in a revolt against Constantinople in 1043 and to the Arbanitai as subjects of the Duke of Dyrrhachium. It is disputed, however, whether the Albanoi of the events of 1043 refers to Albanians in an ethnic sense or whether Albanoi is a reference to Normans from Sicily under an archaic name there was also a tribe in Italy by the name of Albanoi. However a later reference to Albanians from the same Ataliates, regarding the participation of Albanians in a rebellion around 1078, is undisputed. 
At this point, they are already fully Christianized, although Albanian mythology and folklore are part of the Paleo Balkan pagan mythology, in particular showing Greek influence. From the late 11th century, the Albanians were called Arban, Arbor, and their country as Arbanon, a mountainous area to the west of Lake Akrita and the upper valley of the river Shkuman. It was in 1190, when the rulers of Arbanon local Albanian noble called Progon and his sons Dimitar and Gjin created their principality with its capital at Kruja. After the fall of Progon dynasty in 1216, the principality came under Grigor Komona and Gulam of Albania. Finally the principality was dissolved in 1255. Around 1230 the two main centers of Albanian settlements, one around Devol River in what is now central Albania, and the other around the region which was known with the name Arbanon. In 1271 Charles of Anjou created the Kingdom of Albania, after he captured a part of the Despotate of Epirus. A major attempt to advance further in direction of Constantinople failed at the Siege of Barat 1280 A Byzantine counteroffensive soon ensued, which drove the Angevins out of the interior by 1281. The Sicilian Vespers further weakened the position of Charles, and the kingdom was soon reduced by the Epirotes to a small area around Duras. The kingdom however held out until 1368, when the city was captured by Karl Thopia. The presence of the kingdom reinforced the influence of Catholicism and the conversion to its right, not only in the region of Duras but in other parts of the country. A new wave of Catholic dioceses, churches and monasteries were founded, a number of different religious orders began spreading into the country, and papal missionaries also reached the territories of the Kingdom of Albania. Those who were not Catholic in Central and North Albania converted and a great number of Albanian clerics and monks were present in the Dalmatian Catholic institutions. In the 14th century a number of Albanian principalities were created. These included Principality of Castriati, Principality of Dukagini, Princedom of Albania, and Principality of Giricaster. At the beginning of the 15th century these principalities became stronger, especially because of the fall of the Serbian Empire. Some of these principalities were united in 1444 under the military alliance called League of Leza. At the dawn of the establishment of the Ottoman Empire in southeast Europe, the geopolitical landscape was marked by scattered kingdoms of small principalities. The Ottomans erected their garrisons throughout southern Albania by 1415 and established formal jurisdiction over most of Albania by 1431. However, in 1443 a great and long-standing revolt broke under the lead of the Albanian national hero Gjergj Kastriati Skanderbeg, which lasted until 1479, many times defeating major Ottoman armies led by Sultans Murad II and Mehmed II. Skanderbeg united initially the Albanian princes and later established a centralized authority over most of the non-conquered territories, becoming Lord of Albania. He also tried relentlessly but rather unsuccessfully to create a European coalition against the Ottomans. He frustrated every attempt by the Turks to regain Albania, which they envisioned as a springboard for the invasion of Italy and Western Europe. His unequal fight against the mightiest power of the time won the esteem of Europe as well as some support in the form of money and military aid from Naples, the Papacy, Venice, and Ragusa. Finally after decades of resistance, Ottomans captured Škoder in 1479 and Duras in 1501. Skanderbeg's long struggle to keep Albania free became highly significant to the Albanian people, as it strengthened their solidarity, made them more conscious of their national identity, and served later as a great source of inspiration in their struggle for national unity, freedom, and independence. The invasion triggered a several waves of migration of Albanians from Albania, Epirus and Peloponnese to the south of Italy, constituting an Arborace community. Albanians were recruited all over Europe as a light cavalry known as Stratioti. The Stratioti were pioneers of light cavalry tactics during this era. In the early 16th century heavy cavalry in the European armies was principally remodeled after Albanian Stratioti of the Venetian army, Hungarian hussars and German mercenary cavalry units By the 16th century, Ottoman rule over southeast Europe was largely secure. The Ottomans proceeded in stages, first appointing a QADI along with governors and then military retainers in the cities. Timar holders, not necessarily converts to Islam, would occasionally rebel, the most famous case of which is Skanderbeg. His figure would be used later in the 19th century as a central component of Albanian national identity. 
Ottoman control over the Albanian territories was secured in 1571 when Ulcine, presently in Montenegro, was captured. The most significant impact on the Albanians was the gradual Islamization process of a large majority of the population, although such a process only became widespread in the 17th century. Mainly Catholics converted in the 17th century, while the Orthodox Albanians became Muslim mainly in the following century. Initially confined to the main city centers of Elbasan and Shkoder, by this time the countryside was also embracing the new religion. In Elbasan Muslims made up just over half the population in 1569–70 whereas in Shkoder this was almost 90% and in Barat closer to 60%. In the 17th century, however, Catholic conversion to Islam increased, even in the countryside. The motives for conversion according to scholars were diverse, depending on the context. The lack of source material does not help when investigating such issues. Reasons in various different contexts included the incentive to escape high taxes levied on Christian subjects, ecclesiastical decay, coercion by Ottoman authorities in times of war, and the privileged legal and social position Muslims had over that of Christians within the empire. Areas such as Albania, western Macedonia, southern Serbia, Kosovo, parts of northern Greece, and southern Montenegro in Ottoman sources were referred to as Arnavutluk or Albania. The Ottoman period that followed in Albania after the end of Skanderbeg's resistance was characterized by other changes. Many Albanians gained prominent positions in the Ottoman government such as, Iljaz Hoxha, Hamza Kastriati, Koka David Pasha, Zaganos Pasha, Kaprulu Mehmed Pasha head of the Kaprulu family of Grand Viziers, the Bushati family, Suleiman Pasha, Edhem Pasha, Nezim Frakula, Haji Shekreti, Hassan Zyko Kambari, Ali Pasha of Gusha, Muhammad Ali of Egypt and Ali Pasha of Tepelina who rose to become one of the most powerful Muslim Albanian rulers in western Rumelia. During the Ottoman era Albanians involved in imperial service could also be found across the empire in Egypt, Algeria and across the Maghreb as vital military and administrative retainers. <laughs> Modern In the 1870s, the Sublime Port's reforms aimed at checking the Ottoman Empire's disintegration had clearly failed. The image of the Turkish yoke had become fixed in the nationalist mythologies and psyches of the people in the Balkan Peninsula, and their march toward independence quickened. Because of the higher degree of Islamic influence, the Albanians' internal social divisions, and the fear that they would lose their Albanian-inhabited territories to the emerging Balkan states, Serbia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Greece, were the last of the peoples in the Balkans to desire division from the Ottomans. The national awakening as a coherent political movement began after the Treaty of San Stefano, according to which Albanian-inhabited territories were to be ceded to other states of the Balkans, and focused on preventing that partition. The Treaty of San Stefano was the impetus for the nation-building movement, which was based more on fear of partition than national identity. Even after, Albania declared independence on 28 November 1912, national identity was fragmented and possibly non-existent in much of the newly proposed country. The state of disunity and fragmentation would remain until the communist period following Second World War, when the communist nation-building project would achieve greater success in nation-building and reach more people than any previous regime, thus creating Albanian national communist identity. Culture Language The Albanian language is an Indo-European language and occupies an independent branch within the family tree. Although it is an isolate language within the Indo-European tree, while no other language has been conclusively linked to its branch. The language is the official language of Albania and Kosovo and is spoken fluently by the majority of the country's populations. Albanian is as well a recognized minority language in Croatia, Greece, Italy, Macedonia, Montenegro, Romania and Serbia. It is the second most spoken language in Greece Arvanidika and Cam, Macedonia and the third most spoken language in Italy Arbareche. In consideration to the large Albanian diaspora, the total number of Albanian speakers is much higher than the native speakers in southern Europe. A traditional view, based mainly on the territory, where the languages were spoken, links the origin of Albanian with Illyrian. Not enough Illyrian archaeological evidence is left behind to come to a definite conclusion. 
Another theory links the Albanian as originating from the Thracian language. This theory takes exception to the territory, since the language was spoken in an area distinct from Albania, and no significant population movements have been recorded in the period when the shift from one language to the other is supposed to have occurred. Albanian can be divided into two cultural and linguistic groups, including the northern Gegs and the southern Tosks. The geographic border between both, based on dialect, is the Shkuman River. Gheg is mostly spoken, along with the Albanians in Croatia, Arbanasi, Kosovo, Montenegro and northwestern Macedonia. Tosk speaker include the Albanians of Greece Arvanites, Cam, southwestern Macedonia and southern Italy Arbareche. The diversity between Gegs and Tosks can be substantial, both sides identify strongly with the common national and ethnic culture. Most Albanians in Albania speak foreign languages as revealed by a new study carried out by Eurostat, the statistical agency of the European Union, which analyzed the demography of the adult population 25–64 of several European countries as of 2016. The results of the Adult Education Survey, released in May 2018, showed that the 39.9% of the 25–64 years old Albanians is able to use at least one foreign language. The main foreign language known is English with 40.0%, followed by Italian with 27.8% and Greek with 22.9%. The English speakers were mostly young people. The knowledge of Italian is stable in every age group, while there is a decrease of the speakers of Greek in the youngest group. The Albanians in Italy are either Albanian immigrants from the 1990s, who came in Italy following the breakdown of the communist regime in Albania in 1990 and speak standard Albanian and the Italian language, or the Arboreche people, Albanian refugees who fled from Albania for southern Italy between the 14th and 18th centuries in consequence of the Ottoman invasion of the Balkans, who nowadays speak the Arboreche language, a variety of Albanian that derives from Tosk spoken in southern Albania and follows a similar divergence pattern to Arvanitika. Religion Nowadays most Albanians are non-observant with many who are irreligious. A majority among Albanian Muslims are Sunni, while a large minority are Bektashi an esoteric Shia-derived sect known for liberal attitudes and there are also smaller Sufi groups, while Christians are split between Orthodox and Catholics with a smaller presence of Protestant sects. The Albanians first appear in the historical record in Byzantine sources of the late 11th century. At this point, they were already fully Christianized. All Albanians were Orthodox Christians until the middle of the 13th century when the Gegs were converted to Catholicism as a mean to resist the Slavs. Christianity was later overtaken by Islam, which kept the scepter of the major religion during the period of Ottoman Turkish rule from the 15th century until 1912. Eastern Orthodox Christianity and Roman Catholicism continued to be practiced with less frequency. During the 20th century the monarchy and later the totalitarian state followed a systematic secularization of the nation and the national culture. This policy was chiefly applied within the borders of the current Albanian state. It produced a secular majority in the population. All forms of Christianity, Islam and other religious practices were prohibited except for old non-institutional pagan practices in the rural areas, which were seen as identifying with the national culture. The current Albanian state has revived some pagan festivals, such as the Spring Festival Albanian, Dita e Vires, held yearly on 14 March in the city of Elbasan. It is a national holiday. The communist regime which ruled Albania after World War II persecuted and suppressed religious observance and institutions, and entirely banned religion to the point where Albania was officially declared to be the world's first atheist state. Religious freedom returned to Albania following the regime's change in 1992. Albanian Sunni Muslims are found throughout the country. Albanian Orthodox Christians as well as Bektashis are concentrated in the south, while Roman Catholics are found primarily in the north of the country. According to 2011 census, 58.79% of Albania adheres to Islam, making it the largest religion in the country. The majority of Albanian Muslims are Sunni with a Bektashi minority. Christianity is practiced by 16.99% of the population, making it the second largest religion in the country. The remaining population is either irreligious or belongs to other religious groups. Before World War II, there was given a distribution of 70% Muslims, 20% Eastern Orthodox, and 10% Roman Catholics. 
Today, Gallup Global reports 2010 shows that religion plays a role in the lives of only 39% of Albanians, and ranks Albania the 13th least religious country in the world. The results of the 2011 census, however, have been criticized as questionable on a number of grounds, and have been said to drastically underrepresent the number of Orthodox, Bektashi and irreligious Albanians, with problems including whole communities reporting that they had not been contacted, workers filling out questions without even asking the respondents and a drastic difference between the final results and the preliminary results with regard to religion, which showed over 70% declining to answer the question about religion. For part of its history, Albania has also had a Jewish community. Members of the Jewish community were saved by a group of Albanians during the Nazi occupation. Many left for Israel c. 1990-1992 when the borders were opened after the fall of the communist regime, but about 200 Jews still live in Albania. <inaudible> <inaudible> literature A modest amount of literature written by early Albanians was about religious themes. The earliest known use of written Albanian is a baptismal formula 1462 written by the Archbishop of Duras Paulus Angelus. In 1555, a Catholic clergyman Gjo N. Bazuku from the Shistan region published the earliest known book written in Albanian titled Mashari the Missal regarding Catholic prayers and rites containing archaic medieval language, lexemes and expressions obsolete in contemporary Albanian. Other Christian clergy such as Luca Matranga in the Arboresh diaspora published 1592 in the Tosk dialect while other notable authors were from northern Albanian lands and included Pater Budi, Frang Bardi, and Pater Bogdani. With the conversion to Islam of many Albanians, Muslim poetic and other literary traditions were adopted giving rise to authors such as the Bajtigzinj Albanian poets and included individuals like Nezim Frakula, Hassan Zyko Kambari, Muhammad Kaichaku, and brothers Shahin and Dalip Frasheri. They compiled Albanian literature infused with expressions, language and themes stemming from the Middle East and their local socio-cultural environment. Albanian literature was composed in the Arboresh diaspora by individuals such as Giulio Veraboba, Nicola Cetta, Giuseppe Shiro, Giuseppe Sarembe, Girolamo de Rada and others relating to religious, secular, poetic and eventually patriotic themes like Skanderbeg. From the 19th century Rilindia Albanian National Awakening, a corpus of Albanian literature with patriotic and other themes emerged calling for Albanian unity, self-determination and celebrating Albanian culture, language, legends and other figures of sociopolitical, cultural and historic importance. Figures who left their mark during this period were the poet brothers Naim and Sami Frasheri, Pashko Vesa, Luigj Garakuki, and others. Albanian independence 1912 until the advent of the Second World War marked a transition from patriotic and political Rilindia related literature to more distinctive, expressive, and matured forms of Albanian literature, prose, and poetry focusing upon additional themes of contemporary life. Andan Zako Kajapi, Ndremjeda, Faak Kanitsa, Fan Noli who translated many foreign works into Albanian, Gjergj Fishta who composed the epic The Highland Lute, Ernest Kaliki, modernist poets Migjeni and Lasgish Paradisi and others. Albania, post-World War II emerged as a communist state and socialist realism became part of the literary scene. Authors and poets emerged such as Sejfula Malesheva, Dritero Agali and Ismail Kader who has become an internationally acclaimed novelist and others who challenged the regime through various socio-political and historic themes in their works. Martin Kamaj wrote in the diaspora while in neighboring Yugoslavia, the emergence of Albanian cultural expression resulted in socio-political and poetic literature by notable authors like Adem Damasi, Recep Kasha, Yusuf Buxhovi. The Albanian literary scene at the beginning of the 21st century remains vibrant producing new novelists, authors, poets and other writers. Topic: <laughs> Music. Albanian folk music displays a variety of influences. Albanian folk music traditions differ by region with major stylistic differences between the traditional music of the Gegs in the north and Tosks in the south. Modern popular music has developed around the centers of Korka, Shkoder and Tirana. Since the 1920s, some composers such as Fan S. Noli have also produced works of Albanian classical music. Gallery See also 
Culture of Albania Geography of Albania History of Albania List of Albanians Notes Sources References Further reading Durham, Edith The Burden of the Balkans, peacelink.nu. Retrieved 3 October 2014. Maitzinger, Joachim Schkeep bei den Altalbanischen Autoren vom 16, bis zum Fruen 18. Jarundert Schkeep within Old Albanian Authors from the 16th to the early 18th century. Zeitschrift für Balkanologie. Retrieved 31 October 2015. External links Albanians in Turkey Albanian Canadian League Information Service Albanians in the Balkans U.S. Institute of Peace Report, November 2001 Books about Albania and the Albanian people Scrib.com reference of books and some journal articles about Albania and the Albanian people, their history, language, origin, culture, literature, and so on public domain books, fully accessible online.